Well, I am praying that everyone is um, doing well. And my prayer is that uh, people are with family, uh, sharing the gospel, sharing Jesus Christ. Uh, Easter is my favorite holiday. When I was a kid, it was my favorite because we got cute little outfits. We went to grandma's house and, um, gosh, so many great memories about that with my grandma and my grandpa because I was a little kid. Um, so that, that was really great. Um, then for a while we belonged to the Mormon church and I remember wearing, you know, the little gloves and hats and dressing up for Easter for that there. And, um, but my best and fondest memories are with my grandparents and my cousins, like my cousin, young Stan, who's no longer with us. Um, you know, he, he, he's up, up above and, but he was always so cool. Him and, you know, his sisters, Jeannie and Pat, which are my cousins, that I've always had a special bond with Stan, which is so cool. But anyway, um. For myself, um, I'm moving to, I was going to do it Tuesday, but I'm actually moving to the park I'm going to be at full time year round permanently um, or until the Lord moves me. So there's no such thing as permanently, but I'm going to be doing that tomorrow after I go into town and get a few supplies. Um, I do have fillers out for a, a small trailer and I always say if that's what the Lord wants me to have, then it's going to come to pass. If not, I'm okay with my van and just saving my money. So um, either way, I keep thinking it'd be wonderful to be able to stand and stuff, but I could always get an outside, you know, gazebo with the screened in porch, whatever. <clears throat> so because summertime, that's, you know going to be hot so definitely want somewhere where I could sit outside without all the little buggies on me but anyway I just wanted you know to wish everyone a happy Easter um he lives he lives he lives oh, praise God he lives right um I'm going to be in search for a church that's close to home base for me that'd be nice to have some fellowship uh, I feel myself all emotional again I do that every Easter. I do that every time I speak about Jesus. I just love him. I'm so in love with him. Um, you know, I've been tested like crazy. I'm not even going to go into any of that because it's just not worth giving it, you know, much um, time. But I, I have been, I have been tested. Not once have I been tempted. But um, the people coming at me and all I could say is, Oh my gosh, something really great is going to just bust loose. I could feel it. I've been saying it and I've been seeing all these steps get me closer and closer to something bigger and better than what I have been doing for the Lord. So I'm excited. So it's, you know, wherever the Lord takes me, I know for sure I'm here, you know, till the beginning of October. I committed to that. Actually, I committed uh, through October, and I, you know, I'm going to stand with my commitments because you know our word is our honor, and it sure wouldn't look good if I bailed after a couple months, you know, when they really need people. So, and then I could, when I come up for renewal of my contract, then if the Lord says no, it's time to go, then I'll, I'll go. I'm good with that. So, um, I do wish I could be with my grandchildren. Last year at Easter, I was with my youngest son, my caboose. His birthday is Monday. Um, they're in Idaho, and uh, the past, last year it was horrible. And this year, I just, I can't really go anywhere because I'm committed to this. And, you know, the season is just starting here for the marinas and for the campgrounds. So I'm committed, and I'm good for my word. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited because it's like... I said this to a person yesterday. I said, look, no matter what you say and no matter what you do, you have no power over me. None. You know, I don't care. Knock yourself out. If you feel make yourself feel better by belittling me, knock yourself out because my God is not my vindicator, right? I don't have to worry about it. My truth lies in, in my Lord and Savior. So 
Anyway, uh, the park's filling up nicely with campers. It's so cool to see all the little kiddos around and um, I'm just enjoying life. So I truly pray that you just take this time to reflect on the word of God and to really get into the meaning of what Easter is, what it stands for, you know, what all did Jesus go through, you know, just for us. Even if it was just one of us, he would have done it. It amazes me. Anyway, I love the Lord. I pray that you have accepted him. If you haven't accepted him, just ask him to come into your life and repent of your sins. If you truly believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross, that he was the son of God, died on the cross and rose on the third day for us, you're there. That's easy. The hard part always is, is not just hearing the word of God, but obeying it. But I'm telling you, it doesn't happen overnight, but little by little, glory to glory, the Lord just turns us, you know, into his, his sights. And it's, it's amazing. It, it's the best ride I've ever had. I absolutely love it. So I truly pray that you accept him and that you just continue to do good. Love your neighbor. And I guess that's pretty much it. I just wanted to hop on here um, while it's nice out today. Tomorrow on Easter, it's 100% chance of rain. Pacific Northwest. So, uh, and I'll be, like I said, I'll be moving anyway. So, not that I have to move a lot. I just drive my rig from one spot to another. <laughs> it's pretty easy. But anyway, God bless each and every one of you. I truly appreciate you all that um, have subscribed to my channel, that like and that comment. You know, I thank you to the people that are just supporting this ministry, not just financially, but I get so many prayers um, from people just telling me. I get emails from people saying, you know, we're with you 100%. We're praying for this ministry. It's all for God because it's not about me who trust and believe. None of this is about me. It is all for the glory of God. So. I'm just thankful. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. If you could like, share, and subscribe. If you know anyone who could use any of the messages that the Lord gives me to give, if you could share it with them, either with this video or in your own words. You know, we are all called. All of us are called as disciples. We are all out there to share the word of God and the love of God. So we need to get on it. That's what I'm saying. I guess I'll buy me a chocolate bunny tomorrow when I'm in town. Not that I need it. I've been detoxing off, off sugar, but man, I love chocolate. Okay, with that being said, much love to each and every one of you. And may God continue to bless your household. And remember, he loves you right where you're at. Right where you're at. You could be in the middle of alcoholism, drug addiction, depression. You, you could be the most angriest person in the world. You could be the... the worst introvert a person has ever met you could have a sailor's mouth it doesn't matter because God loves you right where you're at accept him and he will like I said take you from glory to glory yes amazing God have a wonderful Easter and I'll be talking to y'all in a few days from my new spot anyway God bless this is Gracie and I'm out bye